Now in this lesson we're looking at length conversions. Now length, the base unit for the metric system is the meter. Now one kilometer equals 1,000 meters. One meter equals 100 centimeters. And one centimeter equals 10 millimeters. Now the word kilo means 1,000. Now that's a useful thing to know. It comes up a lot, kilogram, kilometer, etc. The word kilo means 1,000. The word milli means one thousandth. Okay, a millimeter is a thousandth of a meter. Let's look at some examples. We need to complete the conversions. Firstly, five kilometers equals so many meters. Now, if we are changing something big to something smaller, we're going to multiply. If we're changing something small to something big, we divide. So in this particular case, we're changing from kilometers to meters. So the larger measure is the kilometers, changing to the smaller measure, the meters. So we know that one kilometer is a thousand meters. So from kilometers to meters, that's from big to small. So that means we're going to multiply. So we multiply by that thousand. And five times a thousand is five thousand. So five kilometers equals five thousand meters. Second example, 3.2 meters equals how many centimeters? Well, we're changing meters to centimeters. So the connection there is that one meter equals a hundred centimeters. And because we're changing meters to centimeters, that's something bigger to something smaller, we're going to multiply. So we multiply by that 100. And 3.2 times 100 equals 320. So there we have it. 3.2 meters equals 320 centimeters. Our third example, 7.3 centimeters equals how many millimeters? Well, centimetres and millimetres, the connection there is that one centimetre equals ten millimetres. And since we're changing centimetres to millimetres, okay, once again, that's a bigger measurement changed to a smaller measurement, so we're going to multiply. So we multiply by that ten, and 7.3 times ten equals 73. So there we have it, 7.3 centimetres equals 73 millimetres. Our final example, 0 0.8 metres equals how many millimetres? Now, changing metres to millimetres. Well, we can see that actually requires two conversions there, because we know that one metre is 100 centimetres and that one centimetre equals 10 millimetres. So, changing 0 0.8 metres, changing that firstly to centimetres, we do that by multiplying by 100. So we can say that it equals 80 centimetres. Now, changing 80 centimetres then to millimetres requires a multiplication by 10. So 80 times 10 is 800. So our final answer there is that 0 0.8 metres equals 800 millimetres.